And now it's time for the adventures of the world's greatest superheroes, the ASS American Super Society. On a lonely country road, we find veterinarian Bubba Suds, who is, in reality, superhero the Flea, fastest bug man alive. Oh, oh man. man, Car went dead. dead. Just, Just as soon as that weird blue haze, haze appeared. Hey, 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 looks, looks like, like it's, it's coming, coming from, from that, that farmhouse. farmhouse. I'd, I'd better find, find out what's, what's going, going on. on. And in a blink of an eye, what was once veterinarian Bubba Suds becomes the flea fastest bug man alive, garbed in his black and red tights. As a result of coming in contact with fleas that had fed upon a mutant dog. Sometimes, Sometimes the day the I, treated I treated that strange, that strange dog, dog, I feel, I feel like, like left me cursed. cursed. But, then but then again, again these, these powers, powers can be a blessing, blessing thanks, thanks to all the, all the good, good I've done. done. Now to make use of these powers so I can creep around this property and spy on the individuals living within this glowing blue house through the window. And as the flea, fastest bug man alive, approaches an open window... Hey, that man and girl, they both have green hair. Obviously, they're alien beings from another world. I'd better put a stop to whatever it is they're doing. And with that... The flea, fastest bug man alive, leaps through the window and appears before the startled girl and man in the blink of an eye. Oh no, father! It's one of Mesmerado's hunters! He's fabulous! No, no, Saran Wrap. This man is of the earth. I can read his thoughts. Read my thoughts? Holy cow! Then I guess you are alien invaders! We're not invaders. We're fugitive from an extra-dimensional world known as Caviar. Caviar? Yes, that's right. You see, I'm Dr. Cellophane, and my daughter here is Saran Wrap, and we are fugitives from Caviar that's been taken over by a cruel, three-eyed tyrant known as Mesmerado. We came here in the hopes that we could develop a weapon against his weapons. And I believe we have, as you have experienced its effects on your vehicle. So that's what that blue glow is about. Blue glow? Uh, oh no, that was just a TV set. Yes, hopefully our weapon can defeat the weapons of Mesmerado and allow the people to rise up and overthrow his evil rule. Well, I've only just met you, and you're obviously aliens from another dimension, but gosh darn it, you seem nice enough to me, so I think me and my friends ought to help you out. Your friends? Yeah. I'm a member of the American Super Society. We're a team of super-powered superheroes to bring justice to the world. And, hey, why not bring justice to another world, too? And with that, the flea, fastest bug man alive, activates his ASS, American Super Society, signal device, calling on the other members to regroup at the Hall of Superdom, headquarters for the ASS, the American Super Society. Okay, they'll be there any minute now. Might as well pack your crap and let's head oh, over no, there. Oh, father! What's happening what? to me? Huh? No, Where'd Saran you go? Rap. No! What happened? Damn it! What was that? Esmerado somehow teleported her away. Oh, man! But, oh, no! Now he's attempting to teleport me as well! Not on my watch! Suddenly, the flea, fastest bug man alive, grabs Dr. Cellophane in his arms and, taking his equipment as well, races away from the house and out of sight of the teleport beam. It's no use, Flea. Sooner or later, Mesmerado will find me. Don't give up hope yet, Dr. Cellophane. We've got to at least try, and I think I know the perfect place for you to hide. And where's that? In the men's room of this rest stop. Just get into that stall right there and make sure you... Stay standing in a plastic bag. No one will bother you there. And here, you can put your device on the toilet and work on it. In the meantime, I'm going to regroup with my teammates in the ASS and formulate a plan on how to rescue your daughter. And soon, the flea, fastest bug man alive, streaks across the nation heading to the Hall of Superdom. And there, he finds his teammates of the ASS, the American Super Society, all sitting around in their places at the meeting table but seemingly in a trance. And sitting at the center of the table 
A strange purple three-eyed alien creature. What the hell? Who are you? Hey, come on in there, boy. What? My name's Mesmerado. Can oh, no. you? Are. I've been waiting on you, boy. What? How do you know my name? <laughs> Don't be so stupid, boy. Obviously, like them other idiots you done met from caviar, I can read minds too. And hell, I can take them over. My mesmerizing powers have taken over your old team, but for some reason, I guess on account of your speed powers, your brain kind of vibrates on a different frequency. I'm unable to take you over. And also, I kidnapped that cellophane's daughter. And I read her mind, got all the info I needed about you, boy. I headed over here to put an end to your little plans to overthrow my ass. Now it's your ass. And if you want your friends to survive, you're going to tell me where you stashed that asshole Dr. Cellophane. Oh, man. Well... If I tell you where he is, you won't you won't hurt him, will that you? That ain't no concern of yours, boy. Now you hurry up and tell me where he is, and I'll punch the coordinates here in my teleport travel device. Unseen by Mesmerado or the Flea, fastest bug man alive, is the president of the American Super Society fan club, Snapper Jones, who is, in reality, Captain Timely, hidden just beyond the doorway into the meeting room. Oh, man. Looks, Looks like, like the flea's in trouble. trouble. Now's, Now's my, my chance, chance as Captain Timely to, to make good and save the whole ASS. And with that, Snapper Jones gives utterance to the magical word that transforms him into the superhero, Captain Timely. Mighty Glycon! Oh, what, what the, the hell's hell that? The Timely? ASS go, you purple Who bastard! Who the hell are you? Oh, oh no! Hi there, Captain that Timely! That light show you just did triggered my teleport device. Huh? I can't predict where it's going. Oh, no! Oh, hell. They've all been teleported to God knows where. Hell, don't that just poop the bed. Oh no, doesn't it poop the bed indeed? Where have the members of the ASS been teleported to? Well, you'll just have to tune in next time to find out in the next exciting adventure of the ASS, the American Super Society. The ASS, the American Super Society, is a Nelson production. All characters are written and performed by me, Douglas Nelson. Music is provided by Kevin McLeod and other public domain sources. <laughs>